I don't consider myself a hero at all, you know. I did what anybody else would have done. Uh, I didn't. I didn't think uh, all this attention was going to come from from a, a story about a, a wreck that we have, you know, almost almost every day. The little boy that I was next to, he was the least critical patient that we had. So I was able to actually spend a little bit of time with him because he was the last to be transported. The retired Los Angeles firefighter that stopped to help. Um, that was that was his cell phone. I noticed he was on the phone, and uh, I, I told him I said I wish I had my phone because you know I I try to. Show the little kid a video. Well, I had my cell phone on me, but it was underneath <laughs> my bunker pants, and I <laughs> can't really take my pants off to get to my phone, put my pants back on, and, and everything else. <laughs> so he handed me his phone, and literally the first thing that popped up was Happy Feet. So I was like, okay, that, that sounds great. <laughs> At first, um, he was still fidgeting around. Of course, he was in pain, and, and so much going on around him. Um, he kind of wasn't able to focus. Uh, I started asking him questions, um, what his favorite color was, what his favorite foods were, um, things like that. And, and he kind of started paying more attention to me than he did everything else. And uh, finally he kind of started watching the video with me. He knew exactly what was going on. And uh, because he knew what was going on, that's why I tried to take his mind off of it. It wasn't a very long between um, me getting to him and him being transported uh, but you know for that that few minutes I could kind of at least get him out of that situation people see it in the in the paper and everything and, I, and I'm, I'm glad that it's a it's a good story to break up all the terrible uh, news that you hear every day um, even though it was a, a terrible situation you know the, the way it was turned around and, and it kind of gave people uh, a different look maybe at fire police and EMS you know that we're not so cold um, that we don't see people how they really are we're average people too we, you know we have feelings and everything else I guess I just I was in the right place at the right time uh, doing the right thing <laughs>